I think we haven't read the diary uh, a long time from Kate Walker. Mm. Yeah, where we did we stop? Not this. No. Then Rose Shack without delay, yeah. Dear Miss, Miss Foster, I'm writing this addendum to my uh, earlier report following a visit to the Bridge of Miss and Wagen. Glad to inform you I've managed to pick up Kate Walker's trail. Apparently the broke she broke into what used to be the child, childhood home of young woman she's been looking for, Dana Rose. Frau Higer, the owner of the place, was furious when I questioned her. She had explicitly refused, refused Kate access. Not only did Miss Walker break into her premises, she also uncovered an entire hidden floor of the premises. It had apparently been walled up in Hassel after the bombing during the liberation of Wagen. As for Frau Higer, she seemed terrified at the prospect of a tax rise for the previously undeclared livable area that Kate had unblocked. But what uh, struck me was the state of the conversation, conservation of the place. The hidden floor of the Blah days is where Dana Rose's childhood bedroom is located. It had remained virtually intact since the uh, 1930s. The place it took as it had been ransacked, though most likely during the pogroms that followed the occasion, the power of the brown shadow in 1938. I also made a sad discovery about the fate of Anton and Lena Rose, young Donna's parents. They were killed during these pogroms, but they the fate of their daughter remains a mystery. I now plan I now plan to go to the little island in the middle of the Dombre that it's the river that runs through Wagen because Kate was seen in the company of a strange old lady after her visit to the bridge. Uh, dear Miss Foster, late night I went to the little island of Baden where Kate Walker went after she visited the bridge of mists. I lost, I lost time in the cemetery where the mechanical mechan, mechanical entrance ga uh, gate seemed to follow strict uh, opening times. Then I got lost in the maze like LA, Ellie's. But I did make an interesting discovery, a grave. It was the name of a certain animal's uh, doing by the dates engraved on this uh, sinister looking headstone. I just deducted it was that of a stillborn child, most probably the daughter of Dana Rose, who Miss Walker is trying to track down. Anna Rose. That wasn't the only revelation of that exhausting night, though. I returned to the Dombre guest house where Kate Walker stayed while in Wagenfrau Wagner, the owner of the establishment, might have been as close as a uh, clan. In a solidarity, solid, solidarity for Kate Walker, but that wasn't the case for her only guest. There was a very old British lady who introduced herself as Colonel Janet Blake. She was quite talkative and uh, confirmed it um, was she who escorted Miss Walker to the cemetery. It turns out that the old lady knew Dana Rose in her youth when she was acting as a double agent during the war. By days, she was an artist and brown shadow a propagandist known by the name of Junta Steinhof. And by night, she was a member of the British Secret Service. This double identity enabled her to save Miss Rose from the pogroms of 1938 that shook Wagen and led to the death of the girl's parents. It was this Colonel Blake, who took young woman to England and even found her position in London with her real employee at the Foreign Office. Miss Rose worked there from 1938 
1944. It was during this period that she found out that her mountain mountaineer lover and father to her dead daughter had survived the expedition, which in 1937 had taken him to the faraway oriental country of Baltaya. What is more surprising is that he returned to create one of the most efficient resistant groups against the brown shadow. Dana volunteered to be airdropped into the group of the, on a mission to evacuate air VIP, VIP to neighboring Switzerland. However, Colonel Blake confirmed that the operation went terribly wrong and avalanche apparently wiped out the number of the member of the resistance group. It turns out that this must be the bodies found at the Devil's Pass, not from the refuge of Zilberspiegel, which I had visited a short time beforehand. Uh, it appeared that the gate worker found out that she hurried to the refuge to identify the bodies herself. It seems that she was terrified at the idea that the body of Daenerys could be among them, so she took off to the refuge in the middle of the night during a storm that had hit Wagen that evening. Colonel Blake seconded uh, by a discreet nod from me, Frau Wagner confirmed to me that she had not seen Kate since. So without further delay I shall return to the refuge in the hope that the the worst hasn't come of Kate Walker, Walker during this unreasonable joint in the middle of blizzard. Wow. It looks like it's holding up, despite the storm. Yet. I don't think it's cold enough for fuel to freeze, but maybe someone should store it inside, just in case. But not you. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Another one of those cigars. A photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. <sighs> Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. There's something truly odd going on with Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies. They are all that count right now. Too small for a door. Look, Oscar! A distant cousin! Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. But there's there was someone standing.
that's where the avalanche happened that's supposed to have buried Leon during the war. Probably during the operation Yunta spoke about. The one Dana was supposed to oversee. I need to find out what happened to her. That's where the bodies were found. frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them a beer because of the blizzard. But their generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She... she collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction for, well, all the time, and then... When they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like... like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh yes, don't worry. She is with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go. Go on! I need to check something in the tent anyway. Ah, nothing. <sighs> Speak to me, Oscar. This button must have turned on the generator, Kate Walker. But you still need to use the starter. Okay! Thanks, Oscar! The gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. Didn't you come across a jerry can earlier? Better go check it out! Yes! Thanks, Oscar! like this one's full. something missing here. Wrong one. Locked, of course. Oh, 
dry biscuits. Wonder how long they've been there. Must be to crank up the generator. Forensics Institute of Wagen. Hmm. Looks like the rescuers left in a hurry after they moved the bodies here. Must have been surprised by the blizzard. Not Dana in this body bag. White man, brown hair, about 50 years of age. There is a, a reason to believe that this is the body of Harold Exner. Exner was to be exfiltrated by Leon Cobatis, whose remains are also thought to be among the frozen bodies during a resistance operation. The body was probably swept away by a Netherlands in the mid 1940s. Oh, that looks like Leon. White man around 30, fair hair. Body is an exceptional state of preservation after being trapped in ice for many decades. Probably died in Avalanche in the mid 1940s. Everything indicates that there is the body of helplessness and resistance fighter Leon Cobotis reported missing during a delicate exfiltration operation. His identity should be confirmed by further analysis and a visual identification expected to take place soon. Leon. It's as if he died yesterday. Like in those stories where people are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. <sighs> Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. That's quite amazing. And grim at the same time. And a woman, right? An unidentified blonde woman in her 40s. That can't be Dana. White female blonde hair with blue eyes between 40 and 50 years of age. Due to a lack of evidence, her identity is impossible to determine with certi certitude. Uh, however, given the prim presumed identity of the two other bodies found in the ice, there is every reason to believe that this is person participated in the resistance operation that was probably swept away by an avalanche in the mid 40s. So we're not even looking. That's it, Oscar. Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker. Maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. Like what? Well done with the generator. Uh, 
Hello? Sir? Are you sure you want to follow that... that individual, Kate Walker? I don't think he looked threatening. Rather the opposite, Oscar. He looked weird. Like, I don't know, weird. What was with his walking? She's asleep. I'd better go and talk to that guy in the other room. It is surprisingly quiet. It's locked. Sir? Are you there? What have we got here? The meeting. Oh! Maybe it's that, uh, that thingy from, that they discovered in Baltaya, this, uh... Monkey thing? Which I still have a lot of questions to, because why they were wearing clothes? I mean, they have fur. But alright. Oh, that's how he survived. This portrait, it looks like Leon. The style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one made by the... <sighs> Dana. Rune. No, not Dana. She's old like me. I'm Kate. Kate Walker. Kate Walker. Yes. And you are. You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltayar. Well, you've come a long way, Mr. Ludwig. Ludwig Hartag. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the Resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Leon, my brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm. That little figure there, that's you, isn't it? 
when you were a child in Baltayar. Yes. And the two adults there? Are they your parents? Uh huh. Looks like a river. And that little figure looks wounded. Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group. Is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar? Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm -hmm. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before. During resistance. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but... She never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937, when they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate Walker. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's. Yeah, very informative, was it? Origin expedition, uh, yeah. Baltaya. Living among the Gorons. The clandestine return to Wagen. Wagen, Wagen during the occupation. The Edelweiss network. Last night I had the most beautiful dream. Portrayed by Leon of Leon by the Gorun. That's it.
Weapons. Must have been here since the war, I guess. Some kind of map. Looks like the Devil Pass to me. Could... Could all those marks indicate where the Gorons searched for Leon's body? Ten thousand marks. A mountain murderer. Report for information leading for the captured dead or alive uh of one ludwig hart track better known as mountain murder wanted for murder dead or alive he's part of the worst band of rogues wagon has ever known these must be plans for secret operations must have been some kind of a headquarters here maybe for local resistance fighters such as leon and his group the symbol Looks like a warning. 